guys, just some dude here. Um, today I'm talking about one of my favorite training tools, the heavy bag. All right, and uh, this is one of my, like I said, favorite training tools, but it's also one of the most beneficial training tools you can get for any type of fighting sports. Now my heavy bag is hung a little bit higher. Um, I like that because I don't like to punch specifically around this area where the canvas is. Um, I like to punch a little bit lower so it's a little bit more knuckle conditioning while I'm punching. It also changes the way that it swings so you're not hitting up here getting the kickback from it. You're hitting um, more shoulder and uh, or shoulder height and a little bit lower you know where you would actually hit a physical target um, based upon your body height. That way you get an actual swinging movement so you can have a little bit more footwork to it. Now for me, um, you're going to see, and if you watch any of my videos, I don't do a ton of hooks or uppercuts specifically on this, overhands, anything like that. I like that stuff a lot, but not so much for the heavy bag. I like that more for mitts, actual sparring, my bobs, or just you know throwing in the air kind of movement stuff, shadow boxing, anything like that. Where the heavy bag I find um, specific drills beneficial is the jabs, the straights, the more um, straightforward punches like that. Um, one reason, you're getting a lot more arm movement there, burning those calories, doing that muscle, muscle conditioning, which is great. You also include the movement so you can do a little bit more footwork, which is great. I actually just recently moved this heavy bag here compared to where my Muay Thai bag is. I change them whether it's summer or winter, depending on what I'm using a little bit more. Summertime, I move this over, open up my garage door, um, have the, the wind coming in and you know throw my uh, railroad ties out, do a lot more farmer's carries, that kind of stuff. But in the winter time, I move it over here, get a little bit more floor space, a little bit more time to work around it, which is great. Um, so back to some of the benefits of it. You do that muscle or that knuckle conditioning, which is great. So you're doing the hard body training, that calcification um, process that happens to the muscles as you, uh, or the bones as you wear them down, which is good. Um, so then they work themselves back up, become stronger, deaden the nerves a little bit. Also, um, whether you wrap your hands, then wear gloves, do fingerless gloves, anything like that, or use open, like I do most of my time, most of my videos as well, um, you get slightly different benefits from that too. Um, so my knuckles have widened over the time. Um, I've broken some bursa sacs, um, my knuckles have solidified, become a little bit larger in specific ways. Not a good thing to do. Don't do that. Wrapping your hands is great, um, but if you're in a real altercation, you have to learn how to hit with them unwrapped as well. Another big reason I like a heavy bag. These things are cheap. They are so cheap. Um, most of the time you can find them on Craigslist. Penswoods, if you're in Pennsylvania, something like that, or a local Facebook site. Guys, a lot of the time people are just giving them away. And if you don't have a heavy bag, get a 50 pounder that someone's given away. Get an 80 pounder that someone's given away. Get a 100 pounder, all right? Or you can just go buy them somewhere. It's not really that expensive. Almost all of my heavy bags, almost all of them, I had over 20 heavy bags my whole life. Um, various things in my gym back in the day and all that stuff. Um, Almost all of them were used heavy bags that someone else had. People get an idea, they'll go out to Dick's Sporting Goods, something like that, buy a brand new heavy bag for 200 some bucks. It'll sit in their garage for years of never being used. Guys, you can just pick that up. Most people just give them away. So, one of my favorite things, super cheap. Other thing is, you don't just have to train with it up. All right, so if you are training to be a fighter, um, you should still do some of those, and I hate this term, functional exercises. Uh, if you don't have sandbags or if you don't have um, floppy weight like that uh, to do a lot of the moves that you want to do, a heavy bag is great for that. 100 pound heavy bag, throw it up on your shoulder, bounce off your shoulder, do behind, do some of the same things you do with like a slam ball with the heavy bag. It may not work as well, sometimes you may break them if they're cheaper. Be careful. Um, and the, one of the other reasons I really like it, so if you are trained to be a fighter, it's a great grappling dummy. Not specifically for um, target manipulation or submissions or anything like that, but for working your transitions, for working your striking, for working some of those slide off strikes, um, for changing from full mount to side mount, and really working your position during COVID, that's great, but also that's solo training. So you're gonna get a lot more benefit from doing jabs and straights, various combos like that, on a heavy bag then you will you know god trying to throw jabs straights hooks uppers overs ridge hands knife hands palm heels all that stuff like that if you're focused on all that stuff that's great you're 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 building your repertoire of techniques which is good the heavy bag is going to let you focus on some of those boxing a little bit more really fine tune it give you a different area to hit it swing like that and put the work in so you can do actual timed rounds build in that muscle memory 
which is amazing. Build that conditioning, which is also amazing. Practice your footwork specifically. No one's going to just stand there and let you hit them, which is why even micro movements specifically with a heavy bag is good. So a little bit of floor space. Um, guys, this is my favorite thing too. Um, and you can hang these so many different ways. Um, I have mine on a 2x6 with an eye bolt um, hooked into four different studs in my ceiling. Pretty easy. That cost me eight bucks. I don't know, something like that. I used a scrap piece of wood, a um, couple legs. I had the eye bolt probably two to three dollars at Ace Hardware. You know, whatever. Um, pretty easy to do. And um, you get some of the chain, even if you lose your chain, your swivel. I mean, it's very easy to hang this stuff, make it work, get an actual workout in, and do like a 10 minute boxing workout, something like that, three days a week. Build some actual gains, work on some skills, and get a whole lot more fulfillment out of it rather than, you know, going to whatever your gym is someday, um, risking COVID if that's one of the things, if you're immunocompromised, or, you know, putting the time in on a treadmill. Again, too. Treadmills have their place, ellipticals have their place, cycling, weightlifting all has its place. Guys, if you're training for fighting, more time in fighting. Heavy bags one of your best tools. So, thanks for watching. I hope this was a little bit beneficial. You got into a little bit of my mentality, some of the things I like to do with it. You want to see more videos like this showing specific training tools, things like that that I do. Comment below. Thanks for watching.